black uniforms with the orange trim as we are set to go at Southwest University Park. Station's ball in. Find the North County at Yuma. Uh oh. Trouble in the box, and it's in! For El Paso Locomotive. Give Yuma the assist, give Lucho the goal. His third of the season for Los Locos as they take a 1 0 lead early in the match. Goals in the Tulsa match, add to it 29. Easy touch, and the ball in beats the keeper, Cody Cropper. And we just said it a few minutes ago, El Paso 1-0 this season. Six shots, including the one on target, but here is a counterattack from Orange County. And they send it over the bar. For a goal kick. Two goals in all competitions this year for him. The lone striker in this 4-5-1 for Orange County. Olaski. Olaski. And across the box, goes down, no call. Here's Jamison. Takes a touch. Diaz with the save, but it's not out of trouble yet. Oh, another save there. Somehow, El Paso gets out of trouble. Jamison. First save by Diaz. That is an open net. Eric Calvillo saving the day. Petrovic's ball in. Oh, headed wide. Nearly the second goal for Locomotive. Somehow sneaking in there. All five foot six of it and almost heading it home. That was inches away. 58, Kastishin, shot, oh, parried over for a corner kick. He went for goal and he almost struck goal. Look at this free kick, you can't take one better than that. That was going in the goal. All in, ooh, in a dangerous area. Jacobson, and Diaz makes the save, had to do it. Both these teams looking for a first on this season. Orange County looking for its first USL championship victory. El Paso looking for its first home win. And suddenly Lucho Solignac has a break though. Breakaway, Lucho puts it wide. And the best striker in club history just sends it wide. I mean inches wide of that near post. Those two probably know each other from the Barcelona Residency Academy around the same age there at the same time. Olaski, the header, over the top of the goal. Here's Petrovic out wide. Petrovic into the box. Petrovic has a shot off the, off the post. Nearly two for El Paso, they still got it. Two for El Paso and Petar Petrovic. Beat Cropper. But like so many of their other opportunities in the second half, it just couldn't find its home. And that will be it for Petrovic in this match as he walks out. Orange County looking for a late equalizer. And there it is, the final whistle. El Paso with the first victory at Southwest University Park of the season. They're